George Downey was a Scottish officer of the British Royal Navy who, during the War of 1812, commanded a British squadron which fought an American squadron on Lake Champlain in the Battle of Plattsburgh, during which he was killed. Biography Background and early career Downey was born in the village of Tong near Stornoway on the Isle of Louis in the Scottish Outer Hebrides. The son of the Reverend John Downey, Minister of Stornoway, and Charlotte Mackenzie. He joined the Royal Navy in around 1790 as a midshipman, serving aboard the frigate Circe, and seeing action during the Battle of Camperdown on the 11th of October 1797. He then served aboard the frigates Melampus, and then Apollo in the West Indies for several years. He was promoted to acting lieutenant, and having returned to England on sick leave, his promotion was subsequently confirmed on 23 March 1802. Lieutenant in 1804 he was appointed to the 38-gun frigate Seahorse, and in May 1805 was serving as first lieutenant under the command of Captain the Honourable Courtney Boyle in the Mediterranean. On 4 May 1805, Boyle sighted a convoy of Spanish ships loaded with gunpowder at San Pedro, an anchorage east of Cape de Gata. Though under the protection of a fort, two armed schooners, and three gun and mortar launches, Downey was sent in a cutter to board the vessels while covered by the guns of Seahorse. Downey boarded and brought out a Spanish brig, laden with 1,170 quintals of powder while the Spanish gunboats continued to fire on the seahorse, damaging the main top gallant mast, shooting away several braces and bolands, and killing a crewman. Seahorse then discontinued the engagement, wishing to leave the coast while the breeze and daylight lasted. Downey was still first lieutenant of Seahorse in July 1808, under Captain John Stewart, patrolling in the Aegean Sea, when on 5 July she encountered two Turkish vessels off Skopelos. They were the Badir Zafar, a large frigate armed with 52 guns, mainly 12 and 24 pounders, but also two 42 pounders and with a complement of 500 men under the command of Captain Scandal like Hitchuk Ali. The other was the Alice Fezzan, armed with 24 13-pounders and two mortars, commanded by Captain Daragadi Ali, with a complement of 230. Despite being outgunned and outmanned Seahorse engaged the Turks at 9.30 in the evening. At 10.00 he came up close alongside the Alice Fezzan and within 15 minutes reduced her to a wreck, without sails and incapable of returning fire, and then engaged the larger Badir Zafar and in an action lasting until 1.15 reduced her to a motionless wreck. At dawn Stuart observed that her colours were still flying and so gave her a broadside into her stern, and she struck. Badir Zafar had suffered 165 men killed and 195 wounded, while Seahorse had 5 killed and 10 wounded, and lost her mizzen mast. On Stuart's recommendation Downey was subsequently promoted to commander. Commander Downey commanded the 18-gun cruiser class brig Sloop Royalist from 15 June 1810 to December 1812, operating in the English Channel and taking several prizes. On 18 December 1810 he captured the French lugger privateer L'Aventurier, of 14 guns and 50 men, off Fecamp. On 2 February 1811, in company with Castilian, he pursued and captured the French lugger privateer Le Braconnier, of 10 guns and 47 men, off the coast of France. On 19 December 1811, in company with Skylark and Rosario, he captured the French privateer La Ronde. On 6 January 1812 he captured the French privateer La Fure, of 14 guns and 56 men, off Folkestone. On 28 December 1812 he captured the French privateer La Ruse. Captain Downey was promoted to captain on 1 January 1813, and was appointed to command of the sloop Montreal on Lake Ontario. In August 1814 was appointed to Confiance, flagship of the British squadron on Lake Champlain, taking command of her on 3 September. 
On the 11th of September 1814, during the Battle of Plattsburgh, Downey was leading into battle inexperienced crews, most of them from provincial units and not from the cream of the Royal Navy. The crew of Confiance consisted of 270 men, 86 marines, artillerymen and soldiers, and the rest, volunteers, from ships at Quebec who were of inferior quality and bad character, several having been in irons. They were all strangers to each other and to their officers. Downey was acquainted with no officer on board his ship except his first lieutenant. The American forces had both time to prepare and were readily familiar with that area of the lake. Early in the ensuing battle, Downey was crushed by a cannon aboard his flagship Confiance and killed instantly, the gun having been struck on its muzzle by a cannonball from the American flagship Puss Saratoga which had sent the piece reeling backwards onto him. One eyewitness later recorded how Downey appeared when the gun, which weighed several tons, was removed. His skin was not broken. A black mark about the size of a small plate was the only visible injury. His watch was found flattened, with its hands pointing to the very second at which he received the fatal blow, the loss of Downey. A 24-pound cannon from the captured Confiance, the same gun responsible for the death of Downey, can be found today on display in front of McDonough Hall at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. The deep indentation on the muzzle of this gun left by the ball from the US Saratoga is still present. Downey is buried in the Riverside Cemetery, Plattsburgh.